that uh, EFCC to Nigerians charge dollars for services go to jail. Slams Nigerians celebrating criminals explains why better edu hasn't been recalled by Tinubu. Thirty billion naira received. I, I think that I think that a lot of people are going to owe me a favor. Uh, uh, this morning, they probably don't know. You know, people charge some people charge their rent in dollars. Okay, they charge rents in dollars. They charge their services in dollars. Indeed, I was already contemplating charging my own uh, in dollars because look, I'm, I'm on the same income level I've been for the past four to five years, and my mm. expenditure has gone up for so long. So, I was going to say to anybody who needs my services, mm -hmm. you pay me, you pay me in dollars, you pay, mm. pay mm. to my account, and so on and so forth. But when I read this this uh, EFCC story this morning, my leg was shaking, you know. And like fellas mm. says, when your leg is shaking, it's not the ground that is shaking; it's you, it's your leg and your body. Mm. <laughs> uh, yes, because people do charge dollars. But it says here now that um, the EFCC warns that against the use of dollar or any foreign currency, for that matter, to pay for goods and services, goods and services. So. If, for example, you want to, I want to sell you a Rolls Royce, and you say, uh, "Osa, please help me pay that money into my account in the UK." You better make sure that it's just between the two of you. Mm. If the EFCC gets to hear of it, it should not be victimization, like uh, my good friend here will say at that time. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let's start that one. Please, please, again. please. So the Oluka already said that anyone caught collecting charges for services of goods will be treated as a criminal, okay, in accordance with relevant Nigerian laws. He said, he also said that we have started securing convictions also on the dollarization of our economy, invoicing in dollar schools, invoicing in dollar, schools that charge Nigerians, dollar supermarkets that trade in dollars, estate developers that sell their properties in dollars, hotels that are invoicing in dollar, we are coming after you and we have made arrests in that area. So if you don't hear, you are hearing now. And he says, yes, if foreigners are coming in and the only means of transaction is their credit card and dollar, why not? You will get that. But document it properly as against selling things within the system, local economy, and you will be using dollar as a medium of exchange. It is illegal. Our laws do not allow for that. And they are going to make arrests. It's all about tidying up. It's all about firming up the value um, of, of our currency. Uh, and uh, he also explained why Beta Edu had not been recalled by Tinubu, by the president. And to say that um, Beta Edu is still being investigated. How long that investigation, would, I honestly don't know. But 30 billion has been recovered. Oh, 15 years, they already have that one. <laughs> so that, that, tells, that tells you. Uh, a, a lot of it. and he says that corruption is so damaging that that is why we are where we are today go to other african countries small countries across the globe you will see development you will see good roads you will see quality health and facilities even the issue of insecurity that we are all talking about one way or the other it can be linked to corruption and i keep telling people that there is nothing fundamentally wrong as Nigerians, wrong, fundamental wrong with us as Nigerians, but the system we run and the processes we follow are the things that are causing problems for us. There are bad guys all over the world, but over there, their system is strong enough to to uh, checkmate. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, it says specifically on Better Edu, is that her name? Yeah, Be Better Edu. Better Edu. It says, moreover, with respect to this particular case, we have recovered 30 billion which is already in the coffers of the federal government. It is time to conclude investigations. We started this matter less than six weeks ago. There are cases that take years to investigate and so on and so forth. Well, if you've already gotten 30 billion, it means you have a case. Hmm. Hmm. That's the logic. If, if you, if, or is it, um, what do they call it? Is it, uh, uh, what's this legal thing now? I've forgotten. Well, I did that well. <laughs> is it a, <laughs> is it plea bargaining? Oh, okay. If you've already yeah. recovered thirty billion, you have a case. So you mm. should prosecute. That's my belief. All right, but, uh, all right. There, there's another lady there whose name is not being mentioned. The NISP, whatever. The investment. How uh, many people? Uh, to be honest with you, Kofi, if if you were given a piece of paper to write an exam 
on the number of uh, corrupt people that have questions to answer. <laughs> you, you can't pass that exam. I'm telling so you. So much. Can't, you All can't right. pass that exam. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to page seven of uh, Guardian. Mm. Uh, you've chosen to talk about uh, Samolu appoints a newbie tourism ambassador, rewards her with car house. That's a lady who drove. That's the lady, the lady who drove um, from um, who drove from the UK to um, Lagos. Um, I, I don't know under what auspices that was done, and I, I'm just being careful by saying that I hope it was validated. <coughs> uh, it's just a normal question to ask. I'm not nothing on toward nothing. I hope it was validated that that she actually did drive that 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 long, or somebody drove it. I don't know. I hope it was validated. But yes, she was celebrated yesterday. Uh, the state government gave her a car. Now, when I heard that, I ran to the TV to see what it was. And they gave her a branded lag ride car. Oh, my God. Yes, and then wrote, put, used some paint to put towards something ambassador. Oh. They just spoiled it all. Oh, my God. I mean, if what would it cost the government to, <laughs> to go and buy, a, you know. It was a nice car, though. It was brand new, yes. But why would you give her a lag ride car? Ah, lag ride. And, and then write somewhere the tourism ambassador, some graffiti on, on, on the car. So they gave her a taxi. They g- <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, what, tell me your favorite drink and so, I bring it for you. Tonight. They gave her a taxi. <laughs> so I said to myself, I said to myself, there we go again. We want to do things. Things always want to do things in a hurry. We don't think things. Will, go and bring her. Is there any car we have there? They said there's one in lag ride. Don't give it to her. And, and and that's what Yorubas will call bajensimi. It didn't it didn't convey the message that it should have Bajensimi. because she's been made a, tor- a tourist ambassador. Fantastic. The governor acknowledged her. Fantastic. But spoiled it all by giving her a lag ride in lag ride colors. All you needed to do that you could even have gone back to spray the car black or red, as as the case may be. Uh, and, and if you are going to give somebody a car, you don't need to brand. Uh, um, she's not a beauty contest. She's brought honor to the country. You are giving her whatever it is. Appoint her the tourism ambassador and so on and so forth. But well, you don't need to give her a, 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 a billboard car or a billboard taxi, as it were. I think the governor, we need to tie. You see, these little, little things that, that, that we do, it spoils a big intention. And I was highly embarrassed for her. But me, I would take any lag ride though. If there's any car, <laughs> if you want to give me as a birthday present, don't give me a lag, yes, lag ride. Because yes, what I, the car, uh, yes. Uh, me too. You too. <laughs> now let me get my own first. Because what, because what the car industry is saying, I've been trying to get a car, I will tell you this. I've been trying to get a small car. Just a small car, you know, for close to almost about two months. I've been running around with my auto check people, left, right, and center. What you have in the car industry is a disaster. What you now have is people are going to bring all the abandoned cars in mechanic houses, putting it up together, painting it, and putting it up, putting it up for you know up for sale. It's a disaster in the making. I keep arguing with them. Okay, so and the prices are something else. Let me get specific so you know the kind of things that you're facing. In a, a, a nineteen, uh, I want to say nineteen oh eight. In nineteen eighty, no. 2008. 2008. No, 2008. Car is almost going for is almost going for about ten to eleven million. Hmm. Excuse me. I mean, who who does that? That's how, how old is that? That's uh, oh, that's almost twenty years. Yes, yes. We are gradually becoming Cuba. 16, 16. We are going to be if you go to Cuba, you see cars of the books of nineteen fifties, recycled. So most of you are driving your your last cars. It's not a case of whether it's your portion or not. That's what it really is. Uh, and, and with the bad public transportation system that we have, we use this opportunity to call on government again. I, a car dealer I spoke to this morning said it's not an issue of the dollar, but an issue of the duty. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So high. But this government always looks at things in numbers. They just look at the income they're going to derive, the inconvenience that's going to follow for you, for the other people, is not put into consideration. Once again, I'd like to congratulate uh, uh, Nobi. Uh, I'd like to congratulate her and, and her parents. Uh, and so there's a nice photograph here. He has the governor, he has the governor's wife, I think, and he has this and that. And he also has the Nigerian Diaspora Commission. 
what has that got to do with what I was now? wondering. I but was I won't, wondering. I won't, I won't, because she, she, every time you critique whatever she does, she just insults you. She's called me an Agbaya before on Twitter. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I'll just leave her out of the equation. Oh I uh, but, but I don't know. <laughs> that does yeah. that, that uh, one I won't even. Uh, 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 you, you, you seem to um, have some, some suspicions or reservations about the validity of uh, the young woman's uh, feet. No, well, I'm she, just careful. It's, mm. it's not, I don't know anything. But I just like to know who's going to validate if you say that you drove from one place to the other. Mm. Surely there must be some validation. I just want it validated. It's just, that's the journalist in me. Mm. The difference between yourself and myself, I've been a practicing journali journalist on the road. Mm. Asking questions, you've just been reading the news. No, that's not true, sir. Uh, I've been on the road too. You also been on the road. I didn't know. You didn't tell me. Yes, sir. But, 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 but something in you is not just agreeing it with. Kofi, today is my birthday. Now, why do you want to put me in prison? <laughs> no. the, I, I'm just asking uh, because when you say, for, for example, Guinness Book of Records, it's usually validated. O okay, and I would have loved if this, if I could see. So I'm not accusing. Don't I'm not accusing the young girl of anything. It's just simple observation that I hope is being validated. Okay. And driving that, driving solo from Europe to Africa is is no mean feat. It's, it's, it's no mean. Ah, it, it is. It is. I mean, you need you need to give it to her for for having for having done that. You need to give it to her. I just it's just in the course of analysis that I mentioned it. Should I, should I put you in some more trouble? Yeah, you can. Uh, you know, I'm very um, uh, Tourism ambassador. I I don't know. I've not really seen anything about tourism in Lagos State. If there's a plan, there's a program. There's some things that have been done. No, she's put on stamp. When when a maybe when a new government comes, they will call on all the tourism ambassadors. There's nothing tourism about Lagos now. I was wondering. Moment, but it's just another two years, and we'll I, was, have, I was wondering. We we'll have a new beginning. Now, some of us are beginning to get jittery. That who is going to take take over? Um, we would like a new dimension in, in governance. Uh, we'd like things. We'd like to see things that are well thought out. Everything that you do has a meaning. Mm. Even this photograph here. I'm wondering what. I don't want to mention her name. In the <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what that has to do with with, with, with the diaspora. It's not. That's not. It's not. She didn't. She's not. She's not a diaspora. You see, you need to put things. Governance is serious business. It's not politics and opportunities for people to position themselves here and there. Okay? This woman did... She's a Nigerian. So there's not, that, there's not a diaspora thing. She did something that people do every day anyway. Mm. Yes. But I beg, I've said I'm not going to... I don't, like, I don't like being insulted, especially personally. Because my reply could be worth than what that person would think. So I avoid yes, such things. All right. So um, let's go news. to the news. Yes. Mm. You on my bed. <laughs> ah, What's okay. Today? today is also Health Day, oh, yeah. so you'd want to um, fire God's Lagos Markets. My God, Lagos Markets building. Um, government blames uh, carelessness. See, the governor has to make a firm decision. He has to sit down. Whether it's going to take him months, he has to make a firm decision on Lagos Island. Lagos Island is a disaster waiting to happen. With all the shops, the buildings, the Martins area, Balogun, all those half, you know, developer buildings. The government has to take, it's a strong political decision and they have to take it before the elections. They have to make a strong, I believe, I believe very strongly that those markets should be relocated to another area entirely because of the structures that have been built. Yeah. You know, but governments shy away from it for political reasons. Okay, so you had this fire again yesterday. Police now probably syndicates uh, recover arms in Abuja. Six killed, 20 injured in Ogun. Auto accidents. Police clamped down on phone thieves. Yes, we've had... I'm glad the police have done this. Uh, um, we've had um, reports of phones being stolen even whilst you're walking or standing or whatever, mm. the phones are stolen. And now they will then tell you if you want your phone back, you should pay X amount. So phones are being kidnapped. Okay, so there's this one now. Agbola, uh, Taye Agbola has been jailed for life for raping, for raping neighbor's 10-year-old daughter. What is going on? The devil seems to be in the detail. 
you know. And um, what are that? Okay, London to Lagos driver becomes ambassador guest house. Replicates own Jayco across surface. Association tells Lagos. What is own Jayco? Okay, the Lagos um, discount, market. discount market. I hope they've tidied it up now. We're having a commissioner today uh, by 8 o'clock. By 8 o'clock? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. That would be nice. I hope it's been tidied up. It's a very good initiative, but um, we don't want it spoiled by political considerations. So that's what we have here. We also have our health, health page. Okay. We have our health page, which uh, Sheriff and I have promised we'll bring to you um, we'll bring to you every uh, Tuesday. Ogun investigates abandoned hospital donated by MBC. But that's the National Boundary Commission after Point Healthwise report. Why physicians should interpret patients' laboratory test results. What this story means is when you go to the lab to do some tests, don't get the results and interpretation from the same place. Take it back to your doctor mm -hmm. to interpret. And uh, that's the case that... Uh, Mr. Jima is making. <laughs> this one is a this one is a tough one. I'm going to handle it uh, gingerly, and he talks about adult bedwetting. Oh my God! Uh, 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 is that a thing? Uh, we we'll say you will be Don't tell it. Oh my God! Yes, it says adult bedwetting may be a sign of bladder cancer or hormonal imbalance. Urologists, medical experts say an adult bedwetting could be a sign of a serious medical condition. It would have to be for an adult. Uh, there's another story here. How genetic changes mass use of arts foil HIV drug resistance. And this one, this one it refers to me. I'm feeling guilty. It says too much of milky donuts <laughs> raises diabetes, hypertension, risk, expert ones. Oh my Look at me and my life. Ah. I'm diabetic. I have hypertension and I like uh, milky donuts. <laughs> And you live, you 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 walk close to uh, <laughs> to the headquarters of Milky Dollars. <laughs> Just a stone's throw. <laughs> Am I not a walking dead so? <laughs> And it says here, temptation. Consumption of the latest social media sensation of Milky Donuts. Oh, it's milky. The oh. donut I like is it milky. I like the one with jam inside. Okay, jam. Okay, <laughs> it's a fad now. Social media, yeah. I don't know where. Yeah. May dispose people to obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and other non communicable disease. diseases. Now, there is this story I want all of you to read. Where did I see it? It is on page 13 of the point. Page 13 of the point. I want you all, all, everybody should read it. The headline of the story is Ways to Maintain Eye Health with Screens. All of us, all of us. Have, all of us have played toying with the idea of going blind if we are not careful. How many of us, for example, would late at night when we can't sleep, will be staring right into our phones, staring into our tablets, staring into our com computers, spend 18 hours watching Korean movies on TV when there's no job. All these things, you need to get your eyes tested regularly. I would say, from especially from age 35, I would recommend if you could do it every other month, just to be safe. Uh, um, and it talks about so many things, uh, how device you say that affects your eye health, how you, sometimes you have to strain your eyes. Is there something called blue light exposure from smartphones, tablets, computers, and other devices? The blue light. Reducing blinking and dry eyes. Increased myopia rates. Eye fatigue and headaches. Blink frequently. Follow the 20-20-20 rule. You have to read this up in the pond. Mm. Okay? Use artificial tears that drops, uh, 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 you know, that could do that. Adjust your screen settings. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, uh, color addict. I like my TV, everything to be nice and sharp and bright. But there's a price to pay for it. And so you should reduce, you know, you should reduce the sharpness of your screen and so many things. So that it doesn't uh, affect your eyes. Then it says, adjust your screen settings. Take breaks. It says frequent breaks help reduce eye strain. When you're in front of your computer, after a while, sit down, take a walk, go around, take a drink or whatever it is, and come back. And of course, regular visits to your eye doctor. So uh, you need to thank myself and Sheriff every Tuesday for bringing this health. Well, we thank the point for having a health page anyway, in the first instance. 
But I advise that please always try and listen out on Tuesdays for these health tips. They're very, very vital. Yeah, the milky donuts, you yeah. know. That's the milky donut. <laughs> but this is not the kind that I eat. Yeah. You know? My own is not the, the, milk. The, the, no, it's, it's almost, it looks the same. Oh. There's no hole in the middle. It's the social media. Uh, the hole is just the design. The yeah. idea is. To fill it with what, milk. They fill it with milk. Puncture a hole, fill it with milk. And sugar. And sugar. And then when uh, you tear it, you tear it, you open like. Yeah, man, do <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing what social media can make you do, sir. It, 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 it's, it's all about it. Everybody is doing it now. Milky donut. Because of social media. TikTok. Uh, well, I've always been eating donuts. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was just, ah! My mind is going to. Don't There's worry. a famous uh, eatery that had been in existence since when I was in school. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Since when I was in school. Eh? And I think they're out of existence now. Uh, <laughs> you, you're having what? memories of the donuts you of, had there? Of the donut, of the, uh, uh, the donut and the meat pie. Oh, I see. I remember I see. when I was working in 74, as soon as we resume work, everybody puts money in the messenger's hand. It comes money. back with this big of meat pies. It's long queue. Wow. In those days. They don't make meat pies like they make used to make those things. Like, like when I remember Kingsway meat pies, I remember Federal Palace Hotel meat pies. Federal Palace Hotel meat pies we used to eat with fork and knife. Wow. Benny. Wow. Hey. Loaded with meat. My God. Hmm. These days, I don't know what they have. It's not meat. But anyway, now we're, we're, we're eating for help. Look at you licking your lips. <laughs> <laughs> we're eating for help. Uncle G, my fruit, my fruit fast begins today. What is that? I I I I, I stick, take some days. Why are you telling me now? What the? Uh, but if if you you're making have, me feel guilty. If you go to have an am am an amala party, then I'll I'll break my fast. No, is that the amala is end of the month? Okay, uh, right. it's not today. Okay. Go about your normal. <laughs> go about your normal activities today. No fear. panic. <laughs> like police. Okay. Oh, oh like, my. Like police will say, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. You're on top of the situation. I'm on top of the situation. <laughs> All right, sir. And we're taking the uh, the editorial of the Vanguard this morning. Hard lessons for social media trollers. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I advise you, if you're into social media, whatever. All you boys, better read this. <laughs> okay, better read this. The Vanguard is, they're not worried, but they're paying attention to mm. developments in the social media and how people run into trouble these days. Um, do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so that what, what essentially, this is to alert you to the facts of what's going on. It says, for example, it says that a controversial social media review of a product of a tomato brand by blogger Chioma Egodi is in court. If found guilty, the blogger is a jail sentence. Also, gospel music superstar Mercy Chinwo, who is married to a preacher and an IT icon, uh, uh, blessed Uzo Chikwa, recently unveiled their three-month-old son. A firm stone of controversy ensued, with some bloggers insinuating that the baby closely re resembled another popular gospel singer. Now, that's a reckless thing to do. What is your business? That's a reckless, it's highly irresponsible. And that's why I tell people to keep your, your personal life out of the social media. The recklessness that people display. Even government officials. A government official criticizes you on something. You insult him personally, like the story I just told you. I just kept, you know, I just kept off it because I, 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 I could have made a claim for being insulted in the course of my job. And what was the issue? The issue then was that okay, we were congratulating people who are being uh, 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 who are being uh, um, who have voted into parliament in the UK, and I said they are Britons, they are not Nigerians. It's not our job to congratulate them. Mm. Then mm. I got insulted. Social media. In social media, by somebody whose family I respect so much. My God, it's almost like people a government official whose family is is it the Muslim behead that. Mm. The Dissus and that particular family will be trading insults, personal insults, oh. in the social media. As a young person, I, but young persons, very close, to, very close, to, oh. very, very, is a female, very close. You know, people have an idea of who it is. And thanks for my upbringing, I held my peace. It's just that the issue has come up today. People must realize that the social media comes with responsibility. You don't just throw things, and that's why I am for control. I am not for suppression or whatever, but there must be some element of control. What is your business to start commenting on somebody's child? 
Even if it's a social scene. That, oh, the child looks like the, the Kofi, and even though it's, it's Jibis, what's yours? There was one, I don't do, sometimes these things, you don't know whether they are skits, you don't know what they are, saying that, oh, oh okay, the child looked like, like the boss of the person. Which will get all these infantile things out of the, if it wasn't for my job, for starters, I wouldn't even be in the social media. If it wasn't for my job. And a lot of people are complicit. A lot of people, otherwise responsible people. Look at some of the people that call themselves bloggers and hear what they say. Hear the language that they use. Come on. The sexual language that they use. And so the, 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 the vanguard is cautioning everybody. Uh, you, see? you see? You see what they said? Some of the bloggers and commentators went as far as calling the poor innocent baby derogatory names. You know, and he says that Basi, as a he picked four of them for legal action, and he'll be teaching them a lesson. Yes, if, 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 mm. if, if he can. He should make an example of. He make an example of. Mm. So that's essentially All what right. they're saying here. Uncle Jimmy, uh, we, we have a final one, maybe just quickly. Nara nears 1,000 uh, to the dollar. CBN's policy is stress test banks on local. Yes, we, we, we had spoken about that. Uh, mm. Some measures, in fact, we heard that some directors have been fired. Of CBN, um, we are watching these measures go go on. We, I, I seem to be a bit happy, but I'm just a bit apprehensive. Just wanting to be careful and play safe, because one's reputation is on the line. The rate is going back gradually; it's going down, and it says here CBN to release 16 million to retail market via the BDC, and I think the new rate they are targeting is 1.1. Okay, and it says that intervention other cost others cost foreign reserves 1.1 billion in three weeks. We are dipping into our foreign reserves, but the government is determined to stabilize the 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 the, 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 the forex market. Uh, banks to wind down all naira loans backed by Fed, um, FX collaterals must be wound down in 90 days. What does that mean? Okay, so you go and deposit three million dollars in a bank. And you get a loan and use that as collateral. The CBM would have none of that. You understand? Okay. They, they, would, they, they would have, okay. uh, have okay. none, of, none, okay. of, none of that. All right, sir. Mm. Okay, Jimmy, we have to go. Uh, we'll be looking Thank forward to having much. you at 9 o'clock. Oh, yes. At uh, 9 o'clock, um, mm. we want to start our fight for air peace. All right. All right. Interesting. Uh, yes. Very interesting. We have to start our fight for yeah, air Very interesting peace. involvement. All right. The, uh, that business must survive because must survive. it's out of the hands of Alan Noyama. It belongs to Nigerians now. All right. Uh, up next in Easter Eight, right here on 99.3 Nigeria. For thank you, sir. Once again, happy birthday. I'll keep saying it to Yeah, no, you can say happy birthday. Yeah. It's 8 o'clock. The news update, update on 99.3 Nigeria Info. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3.